In FFPE, each challenging fight that you take on will require a specific team built to beat it, and this will depend on the boss's details. Is it weak to a specific element? Does it have more defense or more spirit? Maybe the boss has a specific combination of races that certain units will be strongest against, or the boss has certain mechanics that require you to have a healer or a tank or some kind of a support. In today's video, I'm going to help you decide how you can make a team with your own units to best suit in an encounter. This guide is intended for beginners, so I may leave out some higher level details or be more general with my advice. So if you have advice of your own, be sure to share it down in the comments below the video so that new players can learn from your experience as well. With that said, let's get into it. If you're interested in learning more about FFBE, then be sure to check out my FFBE Beginners playlist. I have a bunch of helpful videos on there, and in particular for this video, you might want to check out the Dark Visions or the Intro to Chaining video so that you can see how to actually make your finishers do a bunch of damage when you actually get into combat. You can also join my Discord to get access to an FFBE help channel where lots of experienced players can answer any sort of question that you might have. Let's go through the basics of building a team together. Here's a simple formula for what your team might look like for general types of content. Now keep in mind you can typically bring five units into battle, but depending on the content you can bring six instead. So with that in mind, here's the formula. Finisher, chainer, chainer, breaker, and a buffer. As you can see, we have two chainers and they should have the same chaining family, for example, Bolting Strike. Sometimes you can condense a spot by having your breaker or your support or whoever it be another chainer for your party. There's also units that have tag chaining like Setra Descendant Aerith, uh, Biggs and Wedge, and Rain and Fina that can chain entirely by themselves. With this setup, you'll be able to break the stats of the boss so they take more damage. With the buffer, you can imbue and enhance any sort of elemental damage that you want to do. The chainers will raise the chain count and the finisher will just do one massive blow to finish off the boss. Whenever you can combine slots in your party, it opens a chance for you to add different units. So for example, if we do have a finisher plus a tag chainer plus a breaker plus the buffer, then you might actually be able to add a second finisher and be able to deal more damage. Maybe it's a, an encounter that's pretty tough or that has a lot of HP that you can actually fit in an extra damage dealer or a tank or some other type of unit. There are other ways to condense rules as well. For example, Ling and Bulwark are both support units that have access to a full attack magic defense and spirit break on their kits and they can act, act as your breaker during a fight. Now they don't have access to any time breaks like other breakers do or maybe even as high breaks as your dedicated breaking units but they can fill in a pinch and it means that you can bring extra units of other roles into combat. It's always important to pay attention to the details of a fight or to look up the information on a boss on the FFBE wiki. Some bosses cannot have their defense and spirit broken, so there's no need to bring a breaker at all if the fight will only last one turn or you can just avoid the damage that the boss does. Now, if you can't avoid that damage, you still will need to break their attack and or magic so that they deal less damage and they don't kill your party. Sometimes you will need to bring a tank into an encounter, and in this case, either your tank, your breaker, your support will need to be able to chain with your chainer in order to raise the chain count so that your finisher can do maximum damage. And in this case, your team might look something like tank, finisher, breaker, chainer, and a support. If you can bring support units that can chain together, then you don't have to bring any dedicated chainers at all. So that might look like, you know, a tank, a breaker, a support, and then two finishers. For some time now in FFBE, chainers have not been the meta for dealing damage. Instead, we use limit bursters or units with very powerful single hit skills like jumps. But recently, units like Starlight Elena and Kaito have shown to be pretty impressive chainers that can deal some serious damage. It means there's even more combinations for how you can build your team and there's no one way to make a successful party in FFBE, but the vast majority of the finishers are going to be limit burst damage dealers or jumpers or other uh, types of finishers. 
Now let's take a look at a specific example within the game. So currently we have the heinous headhunters mission up and this is a typical example of a challenging weekly content that would require you to build a specific team. So we'll do the hard mode here and when you open up this window you can see there's a strategy window. It tells you what type of races the, the bosses are, what their weaknesses are and some other information about them. So this is a really important place to check when you actually want to build your team. So we can see that these are beast humans so we need to build beast and human killer and I have a guide about how to build up teams and use killers etc so you can go check that out they're weak to water and fire and when you go in there you can see that while one of them is more weak to water and one of them is more weak to fire you could just use one element to kill both of them they also buff their defense and spirit and in this case it's going to be a buff that will have to use a, a unit that has a dispel mechanic as part of their kit they can use fire, ice, and water attacks. So if you wanted to, you could build 100% resistances to those elements and then the boss would not deal damage to you and you wouldn't have to bring a tank. We can also see that there is a uh, requirement for a party of four or less. However, it doesn't say clear all the missions at the same time, which means you could build the, uh, beat this with a party of five to get the 3000 uh, Lapis uh, to clear within five turns, but then you could clear it in however many turns it takes you with a party of four or less to get the Mystery Crystal. So this is an easier mission than some of the other ones where they make you clear it all in one go. So here's our team for this encounter and it's kind of a unique one. We have two finishers in Squall and Esther, but we have two support units in Ling and Sylvie. And both Ling and Sylvie can break the opponent's stats, so that's covered as well. Uh, Ling is able to do some imbuing, so let's, we'll take a look at what these units can do. When we take a look at Squall, he has something that's very important here, which is a limit burst that is a break but also it has beast and human killer and most importantly it is an uh, it hits an AOE, so it hits all of the enemies. We're fighting two bosses, we want to kill them at the same time, so we can't use a single target limit burst. Now Esther also has an AOE limit burst, so they'll both be able to, to attack the entire team. This is also a non-elemental limit burst, which means we can stick whatever element we want onto it, and that's what we'll do with Ling, is we'll put a fire element onto it. So when we look at, at Ling, and we go to her Brave Shift form, she has Blaze of the Phoenix, which in perils the enemy, it adds fire element to all of our attackers, and then gives them a 25% boost. So this is the perfect support ability, and we can pair it with the assassin stance and the hunter stance, which give beast and human killers for our entire party, which means they'll deal that much more damage. We can also look at Ling who has disarming movement skill, which will do a 85% full break to all of our opponents. And she also has the clean movement, which will be able to remove the defense and spirit buff that the enemy, enemies have. When we look at Sylvie, she's equipped with this material that we all got recently from the Wilk event that allows her to use a ability that can chain with Esther's Limit Burst. And now this is really important because Esther's Limit Burst, chaining with Eye of the Dragon, is actually going to be our chain so that Squall's Limit Burst can hit at the top of the damage cap. So in this case, because the Limit Burst is also a chain, we don't have to bring dedicated chainers to the fight. We can just chain the Limit Burst and cap it with Squall's Limit Burst. And if that sounds complicated because you haven't done anything with chaining yet or capping a chain, then I do have a video on that. You can check that out so you know what I'm talking about. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I don't want it to be too in-depth because I, I have talked to new players and they say that uh, there's just so much information that they can take in a video. So my plan is to do a follow-up video where I talk about the different roles in FFPE and the different units that fit those roles and, and units for you to look out for and put into your party. So hopefully that video coming later will be useful to you as well so that you can kind of get the whole picture together of how to actually build teams. Now, of course, for all of these different fights, there's various YouTubers that put up guides on how to beat them. So you can look up people like Sinzar, like Deuce Gaming, like Lavelle D, um, Speedy Gaming, and there's there's some other ones too that I'm uh, forgetting right now, uh, but a flip method, of course. So there's tons of really good YouTubers that you can go to to get actual guides on how to beat the specific fights, but if you're trying to make up your own teams, then this is kind of the formula that you can use to do so. 
thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video was useful for you. If it was, you can let me know down below. You can also tell me if it wasn't, like if there was something that I could do to improve on the, the teaching here. I mean, it's, it's a complicated game and it's, it really is a patient game. You can't rush into it. Things will just click over time and all of a sudden it will just make sense and it will be pretty simple. But until then, you just have to kind of look up all the different things that you know you need on the Reddit, on, on Discord, on FFBE Wiki, etc. And uh, come and ask some questions if you do need some help.